Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be fun to come on here today and just make a couple of these uh, paperclip banners with you guys. So um, this this is from a this is actually from a die set from KS Craft. It just came out in May, um, and the die set looks like this. So you have your base piece here, um, which I've cut out. Oops, I think I'm going to make two of these. So I cut that out in um, this kind of pink cardstock so I have two of those and then um, you do get a layering uh, two layering pieces so that allows you to do the uh, front and the back um, so layering that and then I did cut out um, two of these so this allows you to do a little kind of tassel detail right here which I think is really fun and you could either add that there or there's um, actually a straight one as well so you could even do one on the top so um, I thought that would be really cute to um, add. And then um, it also comes with two other little um, dies, like postage stamp type of dies. So I'm not gonna use those today, um, but anyway, that's the set. Now you can make this um, yourself and just, you know, cut, cut it out whatever size. That's what we've all kind of been doing all along. But I really, really love that this die set has this little detail, which is something that we haven't been adding. And I think it just looks really, really cute. Once you put it together, you have this little um, kind of um, actual, I mean, it looks like an actual banner um, hanging from like a pole. So I, I really, really love that detail. So I'm really excited that um, KS Craft came out with, um, with that die set. So I'm um, just going to kind of set that there while we decorate. Um, I am decorating um, these in my craft room. So usually I um, I do this downstairs, but it's so hard to like bring all the stuff down and then I probably ultimately forget something and then I can't grab it really quickly. So um, the lighting may not be that great because I have to have a big light on and it's probably kind of shadowy, but um Anyway, hopefully this works out um, and it's not too bothersome. So I usually do it downstairs in front of a window and I feel like that it just really, it's really nice light. It's like not glaring and then it doesn't, um, it doesn't actually shadow. So I kind of prefer um, doing it downstairs, but if this works out, I might start doing them upstairs because it's just easier. Okay, so I'm using um, the same color on my front and back. And then I'm gonna do that on both. And it doesn't really take a lot of glue, as you guys know. I always feel like less is better. I don't like it when it's all like oozing out everywhere. Um, so I love these like precision tip glues. Of course, when you're when you're doing this on um, camera, it's hard to it's harder to see like what you're actually doing. Okay. Oops. I'm gonna grab this. So hopefully, you guys are um, having a good Memorial weekend. Um, my daughter has got strep throat, and then my son just came home today with a fever, and so I'm pretty sure he has it, and then I'm starting to feel yucky as well, so, um, yeah, awesome, good times, good times. Um, okay, I need my tape. Okay, so I think on this one, I kind of, um, just for filming purposes... I try to um, grab some stuff like ahead of time that I think I might want to use. So I think I'm going to do something like that on that one. Can you guys see that hopefully? Oh my gosh, I hope I wasn't out of frame that whole time. Let me try to move that up. So um, anyway, all I did was just glue these down if you were not able to see very well what I was doing. So yeah, I think I'm going to do something like that. Um, okay, so oh, I want to put these on first. So oh, let me show you this real quick. So I um, just want to show you guys that up close. But um, you all know these big 
paper clips. Um, I know you can find them on Amazon, AliExpress, stuff like that. I actually got these at Tuesday morning before we uh, didn't have a Tuesday morning anymore. Um, so, but this is really, really cute. So this piece here, this little um, kind of tassel piece, I'm gonna glue that to the um, inside of my back. So, and then um, fold it over. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then, oh, and then, you know, it's probably better to like score that, but I'm not actually going to. So I just kind of like held it like that and then just sort of bent it down. Um, and then I was wondering too, like I think these would be cute if you had like a really thin uh, like dowel, like a, uh, like a lollipop stick, I think would be really cute as well. If you don't have any of these paper clips, um, I would try that. I think that would be really, really cute. I tried the straw. It's a little bit too thick. It doesn't look very good. Um, but I think those thinner little dowels would look really cute there. So um, I'm going to do that. And then before I, I glue that down, actually, I'm going to use foam tape in between, but I want to um, add this. So I'm gonna just add this here to my inside. So this could certainly be on the outer, like on the outside, but I wanted to, I just wanted to kind of see the, tass the tassels. Um, and actually I want that to hang down a little bit. So I don't know if you guys can see, but do you see how I'm gonna let that Go, I'm going over the edge just a little bit so that when this closes, um, whoops, should be able to see a little bit of the gold, but I don't think I folded this right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, and then just so this isn't, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, I did use foam tape inside and um, I just kind of like how that looks. So we're just gonna add some foam tape, and where are my, oh my gosh, what do I do with my scissors? Oh gosh, I think I already took everything downstairs. What the heck, Michelle? Okay, hold on a sec, guys. All right, I got a pair of scissors. So let's see, I'm just gonna glue, or excuse me, tape, um, do some foam tape. Here. And do one in the center. Okay. So, all right, hopefully you guys can see that. All right, and then just going to kind of tape that down. So it just gives me like a really nice base um, there. So the flowers I got, so, you know, back when Flourish came out, I actually bought, oh my gosh, I felt like a little bit like a hoarder because I bought so many of these, um, the flower packs and, um, yeah, anyway. Um, oh, and then I made these really cute swans. So I want to show you guys that real quick too. So I actually bought this set here from Mintopia and I can't remember, um, I found it on Etsy and I forgot the name of the store, but she always has um, this type of, um, these types of dyes that you can't get usually in the US. I know Frank Garcia sometimes does too, but um, I'll try to link her below if I remember who it was. But anyway, this makes these really super cute swans. Um, so I love that it does like the two smaller ones, like the facing each other. And then there's an, another, uh, oh, actually these two. So it's these two that are kind of where their heads are down and then this one like it's looking up and then it comes with a heart and then um, this right here is just the little beaks so it does the little beak and then um, the wings 
So super, super cute. And um, it's a little misleading though, because it's like, do you see this like right here? I, I thought it was gonna have that little piece, but it doesn't, it, it does, does emboss it, but it doesn't actually cut out like that little piece. But it's okay because I actually wanted to do mine kind of um, white on white. So I did like a white shimmer paper and then I did white um, glitter cardstock and then I just popped that up on a piece of um, foam tape. And I think that came out like super, super cute. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I showed you guys these flowers on a previous video, but these are Chaos Craft as well. I Everything I'm using here um, dye-wise is Chaos Craft except for um, that's the little swan, so. And then I think I'm gonna pop him up on a little bit of tape as well. Oops, oh my gosh, I'm like fumbling today. I think it's cause I'm not feeling good and I'm starting to get sick, but I really wanted to get this posted um, before I started feeling it really yucky. And I'm gonna add another little flower here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Aren't those flowers like so, so cute? So that looks really good. And then I think I'm going to, so I have the sticker pack. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm using the, um, uh, oh my gosh, Round Trip by Maggie Holmes. So, um, so anyway, there's a really cute sticker sheet. And then there's, of course, like a really cute puppy stickers. And um, the chipboard is super, super cute. So I think actually, I think I'm gonna actually put that there. So that's a piece of the chipboard. And I always tear off the backs and then glue it straight down. Um, Cause I don't like the stickiness of the backs, but I do notice that, that they, uh, Crate Paper decided to change their um, 12 by 12 like chipboard and it's no longer chipboard it's like a foam and I I have to say I love 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 crepe paper I love Maggie Holmes but I do not like the new foam um, when you try to peel it out of the the um, off of the pa packaging it bends and you get creases because it's basically just a sticker stuck to foam and then also you can't um, like Oh, I, I like that these are not, I like I, that I can peel off the back so that if I have it sticking up past a project, it's not sticky on the back and the foam um, doesn't allow you to do that. So not really, really liking that kind of, um, you know, new new thing that they're doing. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping they go back um, after, maybe after enough people, maybe if, if, if a lot of people don't like them, I'm kind of like that. Uh, foam. I'm thinking that maybe, um, I'm hoping that they'll go back to what they did before. So we'll see. I don't know. You know, I think it would work. The foam works really well for like scrapbookers because it does stick really well, but, um, you know, better than the, uh, than the, um, the cardboard ones the chipboard ones, but I, I think, you know, for a, a, us happy mail, oh, that's really cute for us. Happy mail people. Um, we really like the other type because we can, um, Oh, you can sew on it. So you can peel off that sticky part and then, um, you can sew on it. And if you don't know what I mean by that, let me show you guys. Um, I mean, I'm sure most of us know, but so here's the chipboard. And then um, what I do is I literally pull on this and I just peel off that sticky layer. So now I could sew on this. I can run that through my sewing machine. I can, um, if I have it on a project and glue it down and it's sticking like over like that, it's not all sticky on the back. So, um, so anyway, yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about. And I kind of wish like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes companies make changes and they don't really like ask people. Um, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I would want to take a little poll of what people are looking for. Um, and then the other thing too, is I was thinking like, if they didn't do that, maybe they could, um, almost have like a little chipboard pack. Um, but that would kind of make me sad too, because I really like, 
something about the 12 by 12 um it's just so pretty and it's they're the only ones that do it nobody does a 12 by 12 like crepe paper um and it's just i don't know it's just so magical like this is just so magical to me just having all of those like amazing like icons on one big piece of cardboard like that um so anyway whatever i digress i know i'm probably being ridiculous but um, I'd love to hear, though, if other people are kind of thinking about that as well, or if it's just me being weird, because it might just be me being weird. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. All right. So, I'm just going to add my foam tape. So, when you guys make these, because, you know, I've made these before without a die, um, without a die set, but I'm, like I said, I'm so excited that there is actually a die set now, but, um, when you'd make them, I was, I'd be curious to know if you put foam in between like I do. Um, I, I just, I think what I don't like is if I try to glue that down and then this kind of gets creased and I like that it sits like this and it also makes it like super, super sturdy. So, um, but yeah, I'd love to know, um, what you guys do. Okay, so now I'm going to add whoops, my flower with some, whoops, some foam tape. I'm using like the Dollar Tree, or Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree foam tape, um, which I like it, but it's, there's not a lot in the roll, so it goes really quickly, but I guess that for a dollar. I shouldn't be complaining. Um, it's really nice that they have it. It's I love that that Dollar Tree carries like super crafty things now. Um, okay, and then I'm going to add this little whoops flower. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love this little flower. It's like so like, I love like the little lacy looking kind of petals. Um, and then I think I'll do, where do I want to go? I think I'm going to do that there. So this little embellishment is actually from, um, it's from the standouts from the Flourish collection. So I bought a lot of those as well. Um, so if you guys weren't able to find any of it, I probably bought it all because <laughs> I bought a whole, I can't even remember, like five packs of those standouts. And then I bought a bunch, maybe, I don't even know, eight packs of the florals. But um, I just love it because there's so many florals in it. Um, so anyway, um, that's those. I don't know. Does that need something else, you guys? Let's see. Let's see what I need to add. Maybe I do need to add something. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Oh, maybe a little camera. That'd be cute. Could add, like, tuck a little camera in there. Um, hold on. Let's see. I don't want to stick that down yet. Um, oh, my gosh. A postage stamp would be really cute. Cute, cute. Maybe I'll do this one. Hold on. Let's see what looks better. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I actually like the camera, but I'm going to do this because I think this is really cute as well. I just need my foam tape. So um, I want it to stick up a little bit. So I'm going to um, add foam tape. Oops, that's too big. Too big, too big. Uh, all right, so hopefully you guys did fun stuff for uh, Memorial Day. I actually just stayed home, like I said, because everybody was sick. Um, and I just, yeah, just wanted to kind of be here for 
my daughter and help take care of her. And then today I was like, oh, I'm going to barbecue and everything. And then my son's not feeling good. So, oh, well, maybe tomorrow. Um, okay. So that's it, you guys. Um, I'm going to show you those close up. But super, super fun. So you saw how quickly these went together. I mean, granted, I did kind of pull my, my uh, you know, decorative pieces out. And I already had my flowers made. But um, this type of project, it's really fun. This is almost just like a me memory decks card to me. Um, and that's why I love making memory decks cards. And I know a lot of people don't um, <laughs> enjoy them. But I love, I love it because this is a really fast project. And if I'm going to come home, say, after work um, and you know, maybe just feeling a little creative and just wanting to kind of do one, um, one thing real quick. And, you know, I want to actually complete it. I think this is the perfect thing. So like these little banners, memory decks, cards, um, even the, oh my gosh, my only grab that. Sorry. Um, the little, um, thing I showed you guys on a previous video, these little, like this passport book, um, you know, this is something you can complete in just a little bit of time. So this doesn't like take a, a bunch of your time. So anyway, um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little process video and I'm sorry I was just rambling on, but, um, hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.